We shall live in peace. We shall live in peace. We shall live in peace. We shall live in peace someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall live in peace someday. If we want to help people not make money off of them right. and not allow someone's life to be held hostage for a dollar bill. I'm State Representative Deborah Hillstrom. I represent all the city of Brooklyn Center and Brooklyn Park. Um, I serve on the Public Safety Committee here in the House and I introduced the amendment to ban private prisons in Minnesota. We never want to surrender any part of that, even a sliver of our criminal justice system to a company that profits off the incarceration of our fellow citizens. Yes. So, when in American history has anything that's ever been privatized benefited the people? Never. Never. When? You can say never. never. And so what makes you think that this private prison coming to Appleton is actually going to uplift them economically? It's like, why does it make sense to build a prison to exploit poor black people and pit them against poor white people. It doesn't make sense. That makes sense. Does it make sense? Nice. Hi, I'm Tim Henderson, the State Arbitration Director for ASPE Council 5, and we adamantly oppose the bill to open Appleton Prison. I have watched as the state government leased beds from Appleton and then uh, closed that uh, prison down and stopped leasing space. Um, one of the reasons why we stopped leasing those beds is because um, Appleton and CCA um, were not doing the things that they should be doing. They were um, cherry picking which prisoners they would take and which ones they wouldn't. They were not providing the services that the state required. They actually had a higher recidivism rate. And so it was bipartisan that we stopped the use of There's a reason why the per diem in a private prison is lower. And none of those reasons I could elaborate, but suffice it to say, none of those reasons are good ones. Right. I'm Representative Raymond Dean. I represent District 59B, which is in Minneapolis. It includes most of downtown Minneapolis and the southern part of North Minneapolis. Private corporations should not be benefiting and profiting from the lives of individuals. We also have to keep in mind that the majority of people who are going to prison for whatever reason are going to be back out on the street and we do not want to leave them worse than when they came in. And so we, as corrections officers and AFSCME, we are strongly in favor of sentencing reform and stop incarcerating people who are doing time for first offenses and nonviolent crimes. Yeah. Our communities are fighting for the crumbs. Fat cats like CCA get paid. They can make $222 million off of this. And it's not for you, it is for them. It's something that we all have to be diligent about to make sure that we don't have uh, profiteering happening on the backs of those individuals. I don't believe that private prisons should exist in Minnesota, and I'll be working very hard to make sure that we do not reopen a private prison in Minnesota. The lobbyists from CCA are lying to you. The lobbyists from CCA are lying to you. There are other ways to create jobs in Appleton. There are other ways to create jobs in Appleton. CCA is, is a despicable, immoral company, and not one Minnesota tax dollar should go to help and assist that company. We should not let government invest in more funds of evil, period. So while Swift County wants to talk about an 8% unemployment rate, there are other people who can testify to 20 to 30% unemployment rates in other communities. It is an incredibly ridiculous position to have to say or ask who deserves more. I mean, in rural co communities doesn't necessarily actually lead to their growth. It actually... It 
no one should profit from the imprisonment of another. God, I stand here praying for the ones that we're advocating for on this day. The ones that are behind prison walls. The ones that are on their way there. And the ones that have come out. God, I pray for their families right now. That are dealing with issues of loved ones being incarcerated. Loved ones seeking rehabilitation. God, bless those families right now that are touched by this decision, oh God. In my heart, I do believe we are not afraid.